If you're looking to lose $1,000 instantly by buying something on eBay, stay tuned. I'm going to teach you how. What's going on, guys? My name is Sebastian. This is Resale Junkie. If you're new here, my wife and I resell you stuff online and we teach others how to do the same. The intro of this video is not clickbait, guys. I'm going to teach you how to lose $1,000 by buying something on eBay in bulk right now. Guys, if you missed the first video, I'll pop it up right here. I talk crap on eBay and Bulk's new partnership, but if you missed that and you don't want to watch it, pretty much what they're doing is offering bulk liquidation lots on eBay, and they have like this somewhat streamlined process to get us inventory discounted. Now, guys, before we get into this, this is a garbage program. I, I just want to say that already. I know we're not even a minute into this video. I just want to tell you that it's garbage and you will waste your time by buying a liquidation lot from old bulk and eBay. I did the math and on this lot alone, which is their most expensive lot that they're offering currently on eBay, we would have lost over a thousand dollars easily. Okay. So let me prove it to you. Let's just get into the screen. So we're popping in here. This is the uh, liquidation that we're talking about. Bulk liquidation lot, uninspected returns, computer tablets, and networking. Original retail 6608, and it shows you some of the brands. We go down to condition. Used, uninspected returns are items that have been bought and returned, but the condition is unknown, okay? We'll talk about the condition a little bit more here in a second. We'll press read more, but I just wanted to make that very clear to you before I even tell you about the price and before we even go any further, okay? So just remember that, but the condition is unknown. No, just let that resonate in your head just over and over and over. And then let's talk about this price. $4,519 plus tax, plus shipping, plus your time to process this, plus all the failures that you'll probably have going into this. You're paying $4,600 before you even get this. Like once you factor in, factor in tax and all that, $4,600 for this lot of condition unknown items, guys. I, again, I'm going to keep saying that the condition is unknown and you're paying $4,600 for this stuff. Okay. Going back up here, we see the original retail is only $6,608. So immediately we're going from $4,600 to only $6,600 in retail value, but the condition is unknown. There's not enough margin in there for me to even make this purchase if the condition was known. Like, okay, sure. If I can flip these things in a day or so, and I could do a quick flip. But turning $4,600 into maybe $6,600 in gross sales, that's not a business. This is a waste of time, guys. We don't need to go any further. If you were debating whether you want to buy from them or not, I personally would absolutely stay away just judging this one lot. Now, again, they have over 400 listings. I did not break down every single manifest. I am sure there's something you can make money off of. And maybe if you're some sort of better reseller than I am, you can figure out how to move this stuff. But... Guys, there's no money in this. I, I love liquidation. I love wholesale. I love all of these theories and finding inventory from home. This isn't inventory. This is like a brick and a dead weight. Like you, this is not money. Okay. I just wanted to take a second and like tell you guys how like serious and severe this is before even going into this video. Like this is a money loser. Okay. You will not make money. Okay. Going into the photo, we see just this picture and yeah, the photo looks good. I mean, if I saw this as a picture, everything's in the box, everything looks somewhat clean. That doesn't mean anything. It just because it's in a box does not mean anything, guys. I have bought literally brand new stuff in a box. I bought a $600 Segway scooter once off a liquidation line. Everything was brand new. The thing was sealed, literally sealed from the factory but it was dead on arrival because Segway had a warehouse battery issue and they were being liquidated guys. So again, these could be being liquidated for a certain reason like that. Maybe they sat somewhere for a long time and maybe somehow the company knew the battery was dead or maybe the, the customer got it and it arrived dead on arrival. So they returned it. So you may get a dead on arrival unit and bulk will do nothing about that because they're selling you what they're promising you. Now, again, you may be that 1% of person that gets so insanely lucky that every single item in this box is in like new condition. Guys, if that's the case, please make a YouTube video about it because it's going to be insanely hard to believe. No one will believe you on that because that's not how this stuff works. Okay. So moving on from that photo. Okay. We see that. Now we're going to scroll down. Let's talk about the condition one more time. We already talked about the book, but the condition is unknown. Let's go a little bit further. Many of these items are working and come in original packaging. Others will be non-functional and or missing 
original packaging. Accessories may not be included and sets may be incomplete. There is no guarantee. They're literally telling you it may be perfect or it may be garbage. There's no in between, like it, it's either good or like there's, there's no guarantee guys. That's all I'm saying is that you're paying $4,600 for a mystery box. I don't gamble. I hate gambling. I hate casinos. I think it's nonsense. I don't gamble with my business. I, I sure as hell wouldn't gamble with $4,600 of mediocre products. Okay. Now, moving on. We're going to go to the bulk promise. Let's read some of this. All right. Accurate manifest guarantee. Pretty much, I don't know if this is actually real or nonsense. I don't know if they're actually going to help you out. And I'm not sure as far as how they do this. A lot of companies that I've seen that do liquidations and do some sort of guarantee or promise like this will typically just give you some sort of refund based off the percentage that you're paying off retail value to make up for certain items. But you're not going to get, say, if they're saying an item is worth $1,000 retail, they will not give you $1,000 back. They will give you whatever percentage you paid of that item. That's typically how these kind of returns and claims work. But if you have purchased from bulk firsthand yourself or you know someone that has and they have had to do a claims or a refund process, please drop it in the comments below or shoot me an email. I would love to share that with our community because maybe I'm talking out of my ass and maybe I'm wrong about bulk. Maybe they're a great company. But guys, just looking at their listings and their manifests, I would never even, I would never risk it. So maybe one of you have, please drop it below. Okay, so we're gonna go down here. We're gonna look at the manifests. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys something. I made this video already. I made this video yesterday and it was a great video and I got real heated and I got into it. But I did the math wrong in the first video and I had to redo this to show the severity of this, guys. Like, at first, I thought I was only losing like $600 because I did the math wrong. But it's way over a thousand bucks and we'll get into that in a second but this is the manifest something that really pissed me off yesterday okay so we already know they don't uh the, like these photos are garbage right this main photo does not show you absolutely anything especially with uninspected returns items in a box that means absolutely nothing there literally could be confetti in these boxes and you'll never know okay if we go down here we look at this right guys this part pissed me off so much yesterday. I couldn't believe it. They're selling you this stuff. They're offering no guarantee and nothing like that. And then these are all items with just easy to look up UPC codes and model numbers, but they still couldn't put the stock images in there. Whoever is doing these, <laughs> whoever is doing these listings at bulk, guys, like you were pathetic. Grow up a little bit, run your business your legitimate business like you would want someone to buy from you this is insane you're not offering any sort of photos of what the customer is actually getting and then you can't even get a stock image of this item when literally we're looking at the model number right here and it'll take you two seconds just to plug that in on your most expensive listing this is your most expensive listing and you guys don't give a shit. that's it like guys what are you doing your company is garbage and i cannot wait to see all the complaints from eBay sellers that thought they were gonna get a great deal and make money because eBay supported this garbage program. I cannot wait to see the negative reviews, guys. So you're just screwing yourselves, okay? All that passionate stuff aside, we're not gonna go one by one into each of these items. I have already calculated this price. We can see the quantity here. We're getting 21 items. We can see the MSRP that they suggest, which again, they make it note here that the MSRP isn't something that's actually relevant to the price. Now, I just screenshotted this and I added my actual values of it, okay? So when you see here, it says $70. I don't mean that all four of these were worth 70 bucks. I mean that they are worth 70 bucks a piece. So this total uh, skew line right here will be worth $280 in resale gross value. The way I got to that number is I looked up these, these items by the model number, okay? I went in the median range. So if something was selling for between 60 and 100 bucks, I would typically shoot at around $80, okay? I was not trying to make a false video and be like, everything in bulk is worth a thousand, $100. No, like I was pretty fair and I was assuming used value condition on these items. If they really are customer returns and they're just open box, Great, we can list them as that, maybe get an extra 10% premium on that. But these prices are pretty fair used value prices for these items in my opinion. 
if I bought this lot as a professional reseller, this is what I would try to get for these items. Again, we can maybe tack on an extra 10 to 15% here and there in certain cases, but we can also cut about a 20% loss if anything is ruined on here, or, which most likely will. Most likely all of this will not work and you will lose money. You will lose money no matter what. Even if you sold everything working in use condition, you will lose money on this lot. You will not make a penny on it. You will be paying bulk and eBay absolutely a ton of money for no thing, nothing. You're paying for an experience to buy a liquidation lot. So we can go on here and we can clearly see the most expensive retail value item here is this $5.99 uh, little Samsung Galaxy Tab. Again, these losers couldn't even uh, add a UPC number and they couldn't even put the category in it. Like guys, you're pathetic. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, you're ripping people off and you're not even doing a good job at it. Like, come on, grow up a little bit. I can hire a stupid idiot on Fiverr to do a better freaking manifest than this. Like, <sighs> pisses me off. You guys are ripping people off. My total number came to like $3,400 or something like that, guys. Like, you'd be paying $4,600 for this listing and you would sell this for literally about $3,400 to $3,500 in gross sales immediately a thousand dollars ah it's insane it's insane i couldn't believe it when i actually did the math and i looked at this it made me honestly sick to my stomach guys please avoid this like the plague if you liked it make sure you share this video make sure you subscribe i rant and go off on companies like this because i really hate injustice and i hate when bad partnerships come together just for the sake of marketing or branding when they don't actually have a fit together Guys, I got really passionate, I talk a lot of crap, but I only talk crap when I can somewhat back it up. Like I don't just go out there and blast these companies because I respect everyone's hustle. What I don't respect is a huge billion dollar multinational company like eBay taking on a partnership with bulk. It's not a good liquidator. And the reselling community, they're a joke and they're ripping people off. Like this is a rip off guys. I'm just trying to steer you away from this. I'm trying to help new people, any uh, older reseller that's been doing this for a long time, they can clearly tell that this is nonsense. But to some of you new people, eBay like pushed this out. They did a whole landing page on it. They have this whole system set up for it and it looks good on paper. It sounds great as a theory. I wish this worked. I wish I could sit here and buy liquidation inventory off of eBay and get it to my house, open the box and literally just plug in a few SKUs is how they're promising this to go. That's not how it works, guys. You're gonna have to literally look at every single item that you get, test it. Most will be broken, most will be garbage. If you don't agree with me, then most likely you've never bought liquidation before. But guys, that's, that's the nature of this business. If Bulk was a good liquidator, listen to me, if Bulk was a good liquidator, they would not need to be selling small lots on eBay, okay? Let that resonate in your head. There's a reason bigger liquidators aren't doing this nonsense because A, there's no money in it, B, they know they're gonna have customer complaints, and C, only big shots should be buying liquidations. Liquidations are not for like a small little mom and pop thing where you're depending on every single penny that you make from eBay because you will be throwing money away until you get really, really good at buying liquidations and you get a really, really good source, which can literally take you years. You can burn through money left and right. You can buy a truckload for $8,000 tomorrow and have literally a quarter of it be just pure trash and you have no idea what you're gonna do with it, you know? So guys, this idea of buying wholesale and liquidation from home is super, super enticing, especially when you can get these high end like Apple and Samsung, all these cool products. I get it. This is not the way to do it. This is not how I would spend my money. And this is not how I suggest anyone that wants to make money in 2020, 21, 22 and ever to buy these lots. <sighs> Guys, I hope this was helpful. I, I love making these kind of videos, just talking crap. But again, I like to back it up. Make sure you check out our course at resellerjunkie.com. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at resellerjunkie underscore. And then make sure you like and subscribe. It really, really helps our small channel grow and it gets our message across to more people. But guys, until next time, my name's Sebastian. Cheers.